For this assignment, I chose to emulate a pro fashion photographer named Amber Astley. She's been published in magazines like Galore and Teen Vogue. She does freelance work. Her images can really be described as nostalgic and vintage. She likes to work with film, which gives her photos a unique feel. And I think the companies that she works for really likes that, how that sets her apart. My job was to reciprocate that feel with digital, although I did bring along my film camera, but due to processing complications, I don't think that those will be ready by the end of the week. So my job was to make my digital images kind of look like film images, and I hope that came across alright with Photoshop. You can check out some of Amber's images at the website that I'll post below to see kind of what inspired me and then I'm about to show you my sketches of locations that I thought were kind of in Amber's style. So I was able to capture most of these images that I had sketched out. Uh, the black light table, the sunbathing on the float, I got some in front of stuffed animals, I bought a big lollipop and went to those chairs and I got a mirror maze picture. The only ones I weren't able to do was the skate park and the hotel one just because of private property and all that stuff. But I'll show you the images that I got. Here are a few of the unedited images from the mini that I took on my shoot. These mirror maze images did present a challenge because as you can see my reflection and some other people's reflections, but that gave me something to explore in Photoshop. I was happy with the surreal location that I provided for these images. These black light photos that I took at the air hockey tables was an interesting environment because it was pretty dark in there, but I worked with my surroundings and I was pleased with the shots that I got. While trying to get my digital images to have a more film-like appearance, I found that adjusting the contrast in Adobe Camera Raw was especially helpful and then messing with the whites, black, shadows, and highlights, just depending on the particular image. For the air hockey table images, those were a little bit too dark to do the contrast. I found that exposure in Photoshop worked a lot better. I also used sharpening on those darker images to avoid some of the losing some of the quality when I lightened them up. These mirror maze images pushed me to experiment with the spot healing brush tool and the patch tool to remove some unwanted things out of my image, which was a good learning process, but I decided to not use these images. This was another one also that the exposure wasn't working very well, so I decided to adjust the color with levels instead of exposure. Here are the final two images that I chose to represent my project and the before and after editing shots. In addition to the process I showed you before, I also did a little bit of straightening and cropping to give them the look that I wanted. In this project, I got a Photoshop workflow going that really works for me. I've never been a huge fan of digital photography, but learning how to use Photoshop to make my images appear like they're film, or I mean, you can make an image look like it's from the 1800s or from the future even, so that's a really cool thing to realize about Photoshop and just to use it to your advantage, which I'll definitely be using in the future.